Hi, I'm Neil, and in this video, we're preparing to head to the hills. Stay tuned. Hills and mansions of the UK, beautiful places to be. But this time of year, they can also be dangerous. Knowing what to do out here, things go wrong, is an essential skill. So is knowing what preparations to make before you set out for the hills. The gear I carry in my day sack is pretty much the same uh, as I carry when I'm in the woods. If I'm going to the mountains, there are a couple of items that I include specifically for that environment as well. The first one is a map and a compass. It's wild country, it's country I'm not familiar with, um, and it's also country where visibility conditions can change very, very quickly. Having a map and compass and knowing how to use it properly allows me to keep myself out of danger. I can navigate off the hill back to my vehicle or my home location if I know how to use my map and compass. It also allows me to know where I am and steer around hazards like rivers or large cliffs or large drops. So I always make sure if I'm in the mountains I carry a map and compass. The next item that I carry if I'm in the hills, I always make sure I've got a good torch with a change of batteries and a loud whistle. Again, if I'm caught on the hill and my, my trip takes longer than I thought it would, then I may need to find my way off the hill in the dark. And having a head torch uh, that allows me to see in low light conditions really does make sense. The whistle, that's there for if things go wrong, if I get into trouble. A whistle blown six times and then a one minute's pause and then repeat that six whistle blasts again is an internationally recognised mountain distress signal. It works both day or night. You can also use your torch in the same way. Six flashes, one minute's pause and then another six flashes. And you would keep doing that until help arrives. It allows me to make myself seen or heard and let people know that I'm in trouble. The last item that I carry when I'm in the hills is a bright orange survival bag. And these are an excellent piece of kit. Not only do they make me very bright and very visible if things go wrong, but they also can provide me with protection from the weather. All they are is a large polythene bag. And what most people will tell you to do is you simply climb inside it and lay down out of the weather. I recommend that you do something slightly different. Instead, before you go on your trip, prepare your bag. And the reason I say that is that it's very difficult um, to do anything to your bag when it's blowing a gale uh, and there's snow and hail and sleet and all sorts of weather coming at you. So this is something you prepare before you leave. And all you do is you lay the bag out on the ground, find the open end and find the sealed end. And at the sealed end, one hand span from the top seam, so that distance to that distance, mark a small line on the bag. And then where that line is, mark a line parallel with the top of the bag that again is a hand span across. Then all you do is cut along that line. So you should have a line that's about that long cut into the base of your bag. And all you then do is fold it up, put it away in your rucksack, and hopefully you'll never have to use it. But if you do, your bag is prepared and ready to go. 
And your last bit of preparation you can do before you actually leave for the hills is let somebody responsible know where you're going, exactly where you're going, when you're coming back, and what to do if you don't come back, who they need to call, and what they need to do to alert the emergency services so they can come and find you. And with all of that done, and your items packed away in your rucksack, <clears throat> you can go off to the hills, safe in the knowledge that if it goes wrong, you've got a safety procedure in place. So the first thing I've done is come down out of the weather. I've got my day sack, need my day sack, I've got my survival bag that I prepped at home before I came. My rucksack's going to form a seat that I can sit on to insulate me from the ground. And the rock here is going to form a windbreak and a backrest. jump around to get myself warm. I can sit in here, I can shine a torch from here and I can also blow a whistle. All things to make myself seen and get myself rescued. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. If you do decide to go and visit the, the hills and mountains of the United Kingdom, do. They're really, really beautiful and it's something everyone should do. But remember, follow the guide, take the precautions that we've said. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our channel. And until next time, stay safe.